Viotex 1440p 144 hertz ultra wide monitor is one of my favorites that I have owned personally. I have had a ton of monitors throughout the years, but there are some downsides to this monitor that I wanted to go over with you. Viotech tries its best to strike a balance between affordability and performance. The Viotech Ultrawide that I own, which you can save 14% on with the link down in the description below, has never had any issues whatsoever. There's just a few things that I do not like about it. The stand that this comes with is not height adjustable. You can only adjust the tilt of the monitor. I imagine that most of you are like me and are going to put the monitor on some sort of an arm anyways, but it does need to be noted. Another thing are the default colors on this monitor. I have never had or purchased a monitor that has good colors out of the box. I always need to mess around with them. So to me personally, I change the colors anyways. So it's not that big of a deal to me personally, but again, did want to mention it. The third and final thing is the PIP mode or picture in picture mode where you can have two inputs on one screen. It lacks a lot of adjustability. There are other monitors out there where you can adjust the transparency to be able to actually see the main input as well as adjust the resolution for the input that you're putting over your main display. On this monitor, you can only add another input, adjust its location and choose from small, medium or large, which are pretty much the exact same thing on the screen. It would be nice if you could actually adjust that resolution manually or through Nvidia's control panel so that it doesn't take up such a large portion of the screen, but you cannot do that. And now for everything that I really enjoy about this monitor. It offers everything that you expect from an ultra wide monitor. It performs great for gaming. The response time on this is only four milliseconds. Playing video games and watching ultra wide movies is extremely cool. It brings you into the game or movie much more than an average 16 by 9 television or monitor. The monitor does also support G-Sync and FreeSync for those of you that do end up using that. I do not run into any screen tearing issues with the video games that I play so I just keep those features off. But for those of you that do want to turn G-Sync or FreeSync on then the monitor does support that. And to anybody that's into video editing, watching this video, this is one of the main reasons that I actually ended up purchasing this monitor. It increases your workflow a ridiculous amount. I used to have three monitors and I ended up getting rid of them just because I do not have a dedicated room for an office. And the three monitors in my living room was just throwing off my vibe when I wanted to relax and actually take a break from work. Anyways, my point in saying that is that this ultra wide monitor increases your workflow a ton, much more than the three monitors. But what I just barely said literally only applies to content creators like myself because you got your video editor right here, you see the whole timeline. And then when you wanna bring your video file into your editor, it's just easier to have the file on a different monitor and just drag it into your video editor rather than opening up your video editor, right clicking your mouse, hitting import, video file and then waiting for the file explorer to pop up and then your file explorer popping up and then dragging the video and clicking it's just easier you know you file drag it in you know what i mean it's like that's what i mean by workflow it increases your workflow a ridiculous amount now i've had this monitor since december of 2020 which you can see on screen from my amazon orders so it's been quite a while of actually owning this thing without running into any issues I do not have anything like dead pixels. The inputs are still fine, which I mentioned because I do move my setup around all of the time. So I'm plugging and plugging in HDMI and display ports back into the monitor nonstop is something that I've run into an issue with as far as Samsung monitors go in the past, but I have not had any issues with Biotech. So I did want to mention that it really is a game changer going from 1080p to 1440p and even 4K when you're up close to the actual screen. It's not that noticeable when you're sitting on a couch watching a television, 
but when you're a foot away from the monitor all day long, there is a very noticeable difference between all of those resolutions. Anyways, I have a lot of stuff that I have yet to review. I'm just trying to get more tech stuff up on the channel and why I wanted to review this monitor since I really do like it and I have owned it for a very long time. And again, my affiliate link will be down in the description. I do earn a commission at no extra cost to you. So it allows me to keep on doing stuff and buying new stuff in order to actually make videos on stuff. Did I just say stuff enough? So whether you use that link is up to you, but I do appreciate it for those of you that do use it. But anyways, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.